Hey guys, this is John with Forward Talk again. I uh, just wanted to do a short episode here to talk about the revival in um, Asbury Seminary. And before I get into that, though, please take the opportunity to um, hit the subscribe button. If you are not subscribed, please subscribe to our channel and um, hit the notifications bell. Please comment. Uh, we would love to hear your feedback on on the discussion today and on what is happening in Kentucky at Asbury University. Also, uh, if you would like to support our channel, you can do so via the cash out link in the description. And we are we are looking to um, upgrade our ability to produce um, quality videos. Um, I, I no longer have a producer like I used to, and so I'm having to uh, learn a lot of stuff on my own. But we are definitely looking to uh, bring to you better quality videos with uh, better audio and just uh, better overall general production. So if you would like to support the show, you can do so with the Cash App link in the description. Now to the conversation about um, what is happening in Asbury Seminary, Asbury University um, in Kentucky. There have been a lot of different opinions that have been floating around social media uh, from various different um, uh, uh, religious backgrounds, Christian backgrounds, <clears throat> various denominations. One particular response I saw uh, in a negative way was a was an independent fundamentalist Baptist preacher who was completely opposed to the revival in Asbury uh, based upon three different observations. Uh, one of them was, first of all, it wasn't Baptist. So because it wasn't Baptist, uh, it definitely couldn't be a god. And uh, his his Baptist forefathers would be rolling over in their grave at the idea that a non-Baptist university could be having a move of the Spirit. Secondly, it wasn't King... Uh, the uh, the uh, university isn't King James only. So God cannot be operating and speaking outside of his word. And because it's not King James only, therefore it is not of God. And uh, <clears throat> also, the music is not his style of music. And therefore, because it isn't partic a particular style of music, it cannot be of God. And so these are the criteria that he judged it to be a false move of the Spirit or, or not a true revival. And this, uh, of course, um, is is very similar to some of the critiques that you see coming from one of Pentecostals, apostolics, etc. Although, surprisingly, uh, many of my apostolic one of Pentecostal friends have been uh, very open to the idea that this could be a genuine move of the Spirit that's taken place at Asbury University. And in fact, some have even gone and experienced it, been in the service, and has had positive reviews. And to me, that's very, uh, very encouraging. But there have been also the obvious cynicism, uh, negativity, uh, diminishment of what's happening there as not being fully legitimate uh, from the apostolic oneness Pentecostal camp as well. And this just kind of reminds you of, of John chapter 4, uh, and the idea that existed with uh, the woman at the well and hers, her concept uh, then that that, um, that true worship or that worship has to happen according to the Jews in uh, Jerusalem. And of course, they say that Mount Jerusalem is the place where men ought to worship and the different traditions between uh, the two religious groups Obviously, uh, the other one's not quite as legitimate as we are because of whatever the differences uh, were that existed there. But Jesus' statement is, is that whether in Mount Jerusalem or neither in Mount in Jerusalem nor in this mountain is the place where men ought to worship, but the Father seeks those who will worship him in spirit and in truth. That's what true worship is. And so God's looking for worshipers who will worship him in sincerity and uh, with hunger and desire from their heart to truly know God. 
and God will move absolutely anywhere that he can find a hunger in people to know him. And he does not care what the religious uh, affiliation is, whatever the organizational or denominational affiliation is. God's not limited to, he's not bound to any particular religious camp. And uh, I know sometimes it's easy for us to get to thinking that if, if, if it isn't in our camp, then it's not really of God. And then we have to judge it and we have to uh, become critical about, well, if it's really a move of God, then after it's over, this, this, and this is going to have to happen or they're going to have to uh, line up to these particular set of standards or, or religious rules that we have or um, any number of things that, you know, if it's a real move of God, then this is going to be or happen. And uh, especially as, as Pentecostals, uh, it's it's easy sometimes to uh, to judge something as being out outside of our group as not being legitimate. But even with what we what we term as uh, the Pentecostal movement, and ex especially you know, of course, the modern uh, ex the modern expression of Pentecostalism that began in the late 19th, early, early 20th century, a, a lot of those, um, Parham, uh, Topeka, uh, there's, there's Methodist holiness movement roots to, to modern Pentecostalism. And of course, Asbury Seminary has holiness, Methodist holiness, or, uh, these types of roots as well. And so just because something isn't originating in our camp doesn't mean that it's not a, a legitimate expression of the move of the Spirit. And so I, for one, rejoice in what God is doing in Asbury. I'm rejoicing at the fact that God is doing some uh, incredible, amazing things. The fact that it's been going 24 hours for, I guess, like a week and a half now is uh, in itself incredible. Uh, you have most week-to-week -week churchgoers that uh, uh, get upset if, if church goes, you know, past their traditional time that gets out an extra 30 minutes late there, they're upset. And here these kids are hungry for a move of the Spirit. And um, th th this service has been going continuously for about a week and a half now. And some of the things that I find impressive about what is happening in Asbury is it's not personality driven. In fact, a number of high-profile people, uh, ministries, uh, singing groups have attended Asbury. And um, to my knowledge, they have, haven't even tried to gain recognition or the platform or attention. They've just simply been going to experience what is happening there. But uh, from from some of the high-profile pro profile charismatic preachers, as well as some singing groups that have visited they weren't given preferential attention on the on the pulpit or the platform. They 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 never even made it to the platform, and so it it's not personality driven. It's not about personality. It's simply about a group of people that are hungering for a move of the spirit. Another thing that's impressive about it is that, uh, to my understanding, there has been a tremendous amount of repentance, confession of sin, forsaking sin. And so, uh, to me, that's a mark of, of of a true move of the Spirit when there there is an acknowledgement of sin, a confession of sin, and um, a, a turning from sin. So, uh, any true move of the Spirit that doesn't in, that doesn't include that, or any any uh, supposed move of the Spirit that doesn't include repentance, isn't a real move of the Spirit. And and one that does a move that does include. Uh, repentance and confession of sin, <laughs> obviously the devil isn't going to be causing people to do that. Um, uh, Satan isn't going to cause people to be uh, repenting, confessing sin, and, and seeking after the holiness of God uh, in their life. And so to me, that's another positive thing about what is happening in Asbury. Uh, another thing that uh, is, is, is positive about it is they have... Uh, Tucker Carlson reported 
that he wanted to to come to Asbury and the leadership of Asbury University um, called him and asked him not to come. And of course, he was impressed and understanding and pleased at the fact that they asked him not to come and thought it was great that they asked him not to come. But they're not seeking uh, official media attention. The videos that are getting out are produced by individuals that are present in in the services. It is not something that uh, the university itself or the students themselves are doing to try to draw attention uh, to themselves. They're trying to avoid mass uh, attention, uh, mass production of what's happening uh, in their services. And so whether or not I agree with all the doctrinal positions of of um, of Asbury University is beside the point. God doesn't need my permission to uh, begin a work of His Spirit. And uh, as far as I'm concerned, um, I pray to God that this is a this is a uh, a move of the Spirit that's going to spread across our country. It looks like it's already spreading to other universities, Lee University, and other universities that are that are that it's catching on at. And I pray to God that it's it's a move of the spirit that that shapes culture, that gets a hold of that demographic, of uh, that generational demographic, and does something that powerfully shape reshapes the face of our culture and. Uh, reverses some of the moral decay that is taking place in in America and around the world. And I believe that um, as a, a post millennial, that uh, God is going to God is going to do that. But of course, there's ebbs and flows in the progression of that. Uh, but I'm believing God for great things to happen as a result of what is taking place at Asbury. There is no doubt that there are life changing moments that are happening in the lives of those students and that many of those students are going to leave from there. Uh, perhaps people that are visiting from other universities, uh, people are coming from out of the country. There is no telling what God uh, is going to do. And, and even though I'm not Methodist uh, and I'm not uh, a part of that, the tradition that started Asbury, um, I'm praying uh, that that's what that what's that what is happening there is going to produce uh, a revival uh, of people seeking after the spirit seeking after God that uh, that does amazing things not only in Asbury but in America and around the world and uh, I want to be a part of what God is doing in the world today it doesn't have to start with me but I do want to be a part of of what of what God is doing, and I want revival to happen in my local church. I pray that revival takes place in your local church, and so I'm not going to I'm not going to sit back and condemn what God is doing there, uh, simply because it's not in my camp and not in my Christian tradition. Um, uh, I I also I find it very cool that. Um, some of the professors that are at Asbury I've engaged with in my academic journey. Uh, Craig Keener is a professor is a professor there at Asbury University, and so uh, that's kind of cool. I have some of his commentaries, and have used his material in um, uh, as source material for my academic studies, and so uh, he's written a lot of uh, he's done a lot of his work on the Book of Acts, and so. Uh, just, just really, really cool. A lot of really cool things that are happening, happening there, and um, it doesn't have to be perfect. Every, every group, every revival, every movement is going to be flawed. So, if somebody is looking for flaws, looking for mistakes, looking for issues, uh, they're they're going to find them. Uh, and of course, I hope we're not uh, going to devolve into being so petty. Uh, as as the IFB guy that I mentioned earlier, that saying it can't be of God because it's not King James only, it's not Baptist, and the style of music is not. Uh, and speaking of the style of music, I, I, I find it incredible. In one of the videos, um, everybody there was, was deeply uh, 
worshiping to it as well with my soul. Um, of course, a song written in the late 1800s. And so uh, it, it's not based on hype. It's not based upon, well, it's it's trendy music. So, uh, you know, the kids are just caught up in it because it's hip and it's trendy. It's simply not the case. Uh, every indication that I can see is that what's happening at Asbury is flowing out of a genuine desire in the hearts of those students to know God and to uh, to have God work uh, in their midst and in their lives. And so I'm thanking God for it. I'm praising God for what is happening and uh, pray that God continue, continues to have his will in way and what's going on there. All right, please feel free to comment. Uh, give us your feedback. Let us know what you think about it. Uh, we want you to engage, uh, engage with the with the uh, video. We 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 certainly want to know what your opinion is um, about the Asbury revival. And again, don't forget to like and subscribe, share it with a friend, and please considering uh, consider supporting the channel uh, with a donation to uh, the Cash App that's that will be linked in the description. All right, guys, have a great day. God bless you in Jesus' name.